This lecture covers the topic, the birth of civil liberties. And the focus question here is, why did the protection of civil liberties gain importance in the 1920s? In the 1920s, concern for civil liberties, or rights an individual may assert even against democratic majorities, became essential elements of American freedom. Wartime repression continued into the 1920s with lynchings in the South, attacks on labor organizers, and artistic censorship. Some American writers and authors, such as Ernest Hemingway, Gertrude Stein, and F. Scott Fitzgerald, became disillusioned enough to emigrate to Paris. Concern for civil liberties grew from the streets of anti-war dissenters under the Espionage and Sedition Acts, which inspired the formation of a group in 1917 that three years later became the American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU. For the rest of the 20th century, the ACLU took on many of the important legal cases that established the rights revolution in America. The ACLU helped inject meaning into traditional liberties such as freedom of speech and invented new rights such as the right to privacy. But the ACLU began as a coalition of pacifists, progressives, and lawyers outraged by the violation of Americans' rights by the government during World War I. 